Hey, what the fuck is up? Today we're going to be finding a grammar for the language L is equal to the set of A to the N where N is even. Right off the rip, the one thing that I want to let you know is that this is very simple. More simple than it lets on. This took me a long time to understand, but once I did, it, you know, when it rains, it pours basically. This is going to be a regular grammar. Uh, you might be introduced to context-free grammar. I still don't know what the heck that means. But this is more so for the regular grammar side. This is probably like the, the first thing that you're going to be introduced in regards to computer science uh, as it pertains to the theory. So without further ado, let's try and get started. So a grammar is made out of four tuples. Or a tuple with like four things inside and that's v t s p so v denotes the variables so our starting variable and the variables that we call inside the productions and this is the productions right here we'll go into that a little bit more that's the most important part and that's basically what determines your answer we have the t Essentially, these are our terminal symbols. These are what the inputs are, essentially. That's how I look at it. These are just our inputs for our language. In this case, our inputs would literally just be A. And then S is just our start variable. You'll commonly see this as S. You might see it as different things, but this is just, this is just denoting start. Productions are essentially what the grammar makes that's how i look at it um it could be something different but this is just what what the grammar itself makes so let's populate this a little bit we're not going to be able to populate the full thing just because we don't have everything yet so v the v would be our variables so we're going to keep this A little blank right now because we don't know how many variables we're going to end up with we're going to have our t and as i said before t is our terminal symbols we know that our input is going to be the letter a because of this i can already write off and finish the t portion because i know the inputs that we're going to get is just going to pertain to a we are going to define the S as our start variable. Because of that, we just do S. And then P, it's it's kind of open-ended because essentially what happens is P gets put over here. And then we say P is defined as. So we'll do that here. So we'll do P defined as. And this is where we create our productions. So essentially, we're trying to make this grammar be able to work with all of the inputs that comply with this explicit rule. So essentially, we're going to be creating the language where the amount of times A is shown is an even amount. So what that means is let's just chuck noodles at the wall and see what they stick. So we only want strings in our language to give an even number of a's so something like this would be accepted something like this would be accepted and how i had to think of it was a funnel where essentially these characters go inside of this funnel and characters that don't comply so let's say a a a the automotive insurance group. This wouldn't be accepted in the funnel because A is not even. The amount of A's are not even. Also, this doesn't denote an exponent in the book. It denotes however many times it'll get posted. So I, I thought this was expo exponents as well, uh, but it's not. So something like this string would not be accepted because this has an odd number of a's but something like this would get accepted into the funnel so our goal right now is to create the funnel 
so that these types of strings are accepted, but these types of strings are not accepted. Does that make sense? Oh, well, I mean, I guess I can't gauge your opinion, but we can step through this and work our way into it. The very first thing that we need to do is bring out our start variable. We can do that by literally bringing out S and the S is right here. Whatever your start variable is right there. So now that we have that figured out, we need to find the simplest case possible in order to figure out this problem. We want the language that we're making, we want the productions that we're producing to be able to accept as many strings as possible if and only if it accepts this condition here. So essentially we're taking this language and instead of using our eyeballs to see if the language is filtered out or not, we're using, we're taking this concept abst and abstracting it so that basic machine can understand it. So as I said before, we have our start variable and we need to have it so that n is even. What's an even amount of a's or a to the n's? It would be a a. But this would only accept one string, and that would be AA. We need to be able to have an infinite amount of the letters, letter A's as per how many things that we need. <laughs> Sorry if I'm butchering this. You might be told that this production can be called recursively. I didn't understand what that meant until honestly like a few like weeks ago so for us to call this recursively essentially the start variable is inside of our language what this does is as many times as s is going to be called is as many times as these letters are going to show up so let's say if we have a a, 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 A. There's what, six A's in here? This means that this S is going to be called recursively three times. So essentially, with this string here, it would be A, 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 A. Let me explain that a little bit better. So we would have A, s a but we have to keep in mind that there's another s and that s is equal to a a so then that would mean a a s a a but looky here there's still more a a's in this string so then that means a a ah a A A S A A A. Hopefully that can put your mind around the S being called recursively. But the thing is, there's still this S here, and we don't know what how to get rid of that. And our string is done. Thankfully, there is a way to get around this. There is a character called Lambda, and that represents an empty string. So once our S is finished recalling the letters recursively, that's where Lambda comes in. And since this string is done, it actually replaces the S for an empty character because it knows that this string is done for that language, for that string. There is a different way to do it, and I'll go over both ways, and hopefully that one helps me understand it to teach it better. This is the answer for this. And then we wouldn't add more to the variable rule just because we only used this variable. There is a different way to do this. All right, so we have the same exact question as before, but I want to show you another way. 
So find a grammar for the language L equal A to the N, where N is even. This is the same exact problem where you're trying to find a language where strings that carry the letter A can be accepted so long as that the number of A's in each string are even or the amount of A's, number of A's, same thing. So we already have our grammar. We have the variables. We have the terminal operators, which is just the inputs. That's how I look at it. It's just the inputs that are being defined, which would just be the letter A. So that right there. We have the start variable, which is typically labeled just start. And then productions. And then the productions are always a subset of like, like you'll see what I mean. Like P is given by, by, and then we list the productions that this grammar will make. So I didn't understand when I first learned this, I didn't understand what, how, how calling it recursively meant. And if you didn't want to watch the last part, it was essentially S is being called the amount of times that we have this condition being met. So in this case, it was AA. Also, there was a lambda there. And because AA finishes off the string, this lambda would replace that S. And then that would be goner. There is a different way to do it, though. So how I had to think of it was think of s as like a variable in programming like s is equal to any random string and then aa and then boom boom this starts off like the problem that we had before where how am i going to be able to make strings that are very plentiful how am i going to be able to make strings that are more in length than the original two that we used to have. This is where more variables come into play. Obviously, you don't want to overdo it. But the thing is, when we have more variables into the picture, it actually starts, it, it starts to make the problem more sense. It, it starts to make the problem make more sense. Jeez. So what we can do is since S is equal to AA, we need to find a way for this to continue because the thing is as much as we like to make it super simple we have to make it be able to take as many strings as possible or take as many strings that satisfy the con this condition as possible by introducing another variable we can call that variable recursively and then have the s variable be by itself. So what we can do is take on another variable and essentially a will be called as many times as it satisfies this condition. So look at this. a and then this is where it can get confusing. So a a a. All right, I went too fast. I, I can acknowledge that. But look at this. AA will be called as many times as this string needs to be called for. Let's say if we had a string like this, AA, 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 AA. The first part is easy. Look, AA and then we substitute this A for whatever A is inside here. So then that makes it easy. This would just be A, 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 A. And then that isn't finished because we're substituting that A. We're going to be substituting this A for this A. This means that this portion here and this portion here gets swapped. So we do that once again. So let's erase that. Boom. 
So then from here we go A, A, A. Remember the job's not done. Remember in our string we have eight characters of A. This has only accounted for six of those here. And then this is going into the funnel here because we can already tell that this string is going to be accepted. So then this character here, this variable here is what I should say, gets replaced by this. So in that regard, then we do A, A, A. Because this, this right here, replaces that big A. So now we're left with this big A here, and we don't know what to do with it. And our string finished. So we already, we already finished that string. This string went into the funnel, and everything's good. Everything's picturesque. So why do we still have this variable here? Since our string is finished, we can apply the lambda lambda means an empty string so since our string is finished we can actually replace this a here with lambda because of this now we have a a a a a a a one two three four five six seven a and then there you have it that is how you find a regular grammar for the language L is equal to A of N, where N is even. Please tell me if you have any questions. This was very, very confusing for me. And my, one of my philosophies is that if I can teach it, then that's how I know I mastered it. I might have flubbed on some concepts, but that will only be decided if you give me the proper feedback. Thank you.